Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and today I am going to be sharing five nights of WW or Weight Watchers dinners. These are the meals that we had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. My husband and I actually snuck out for, on a date night on Saturday night, so you won't see me cooking on Saturday, but we have five other nights worth of meals. I do work the My WW Blue plan, so all of the points are going to be for that plan. All of the recipes or links to the recipes will be linked in the description box below. I hope this video can give you great meal ideas for you and any other mouths that you may have to feed. I've got some really good ones this time and I think that you're really gonna like them. So let's get into the video. Tonight, I am not feeling well. My youngest son is sick with a cold and he decided to share it with me. I would much rather just make some soup and sit down on the couch and just veg out after they go to bed. But I'm gonna tough it out and I'm gonna make a healthy, nutritious dinner. I am going to be trying to air fry some cod. I've never, I've air fried salmon before, but I've never air fried cod. I looked on Pinterest found some recipes. In my last grocery haul, you'll have seen that I got the Mrs. Dash Southwest Chipotle seasoning. I was trying to find something that was lower sodium than a typical blackening seasoning. So that's what I'm gonna be putting on my fish tonight. And then I'm also gonna air fry some butternut squash. And I'm just gonna pop some asparagus into my toaster oven so I don't have to preheat my, my regular oven. Well, that's what we usually do for our asparagus and it always turns out really good. Let's go! Thursday evening and I'm gonna um, get started on dinner shortly. Tonight for dinner we are going to do chicken fried rice. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. Yeah. So I've got chicken thawing in the sink. I'm going to use this fried rice packet. I think this is two teaspoons for one point so I'll see how much I end up using but I think it sounds like you just mix it in with the soy sauce and then pour it over your rice and protein you can use tofu or you can make it vegan if you wanted to I'm gonna use chicken here's the ingredients seems pretty simple so I'm gonna use that. Instead of um, going on full on rice, I'm gonna use this bag of riced veggies. And it already has the veggies mixed in. So I'm not gonna use any fresh ones. This has green onions, peas, carrots. And then I'm gonna use one cup total of this minute rice. I think this is just from Aldi. But it's the non-GMO one, so. Um, it says two servings is one cup. So I'm gonna mix the, this minute rice in with my riced veggies, my cauliflower medley. And I'm also going to use four tablespoons total of this just egg. If this is your first time watching my videos, I am allergic to eggs. I'm making this for me and my husband. He's not allergic to eggs, but I'm not gonna cook two in two separate pans, so he won't mind this if I make this. This is just 
Um, the first thing on the list besides water is mung bean protein isolate. And then expeller pressed canola oil. It's just got a few other things, but it's like a vegan egg substitute. So I'm going to do four tablespoons total, and then I will mix that in with my rice, chicken, and veggies in lieu of using eggs. And then chicken, and then when it's done, I'm just going to sprinkle the top with probably like a half a teaspoon of sesame seeds. So that is what's for dinner tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and take you along while I cook. It's about 4.20 right now. I'm going to start by cooking my rice and then I'm going to throw it in the fridge because the seasoning packet says to start with cold rice. So I'm just going to let it chill, get some of the heat off of it until I'm ready to cook dinner around 5. I decided that I wanted some veggies. I had these from my previous grocery haul. So I am going to um, just cook these up and have them on the side just to bulk up dinner a little bit. So I am just getting dinner all cleaned up, but I just wanted to pop back on here really quick and just mention that the amount of food that I made, it ended up making three servings for me and my husband. And honestly, we probably could have stretched it to four. I feel pretty full, but it was so, so, so good. Definitely, definitely recommend that one. My husband liked it too. That Bamboo Chef stir fry or the fried rice mix, it does have a little bit of a kick to it. So you need to like spice before, if you want to eat that. Um, there was, and there wasn't really any indication that it was going to be spicy. The flavor is like spicy ginger. So if you're into that kind of thing, you'll definitely like it. I will see you tomorrow night for our Friday night dinner. Hello, happy Friday. It is about 1230 in the afternoon. I'm going to do dinner in the crock pot tonight. So I'm just going to go ahead and get everything prepped and ready to go. We are going to have chicken fajita bowls. I will show you everything that's going to go into them. I'm thinking this is probably going to make four servings of food. So me and my husband will both have this tonight and then um, we'll have leftovers to have over the weekend. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. I already have all of my veggies prepped and ready to go. I figured I didn't have to cut them on camera. Everybody knows how to cut bell peppers and onions. I already made some minute rice in the microwave, so I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge. I did that yesterday and it ended up being so fluffy, I've never been able to get the minute rice that fluffy before. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then when it comes time to have dinner, I'll just reheat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and I will show you how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so it is a quarter till three, and this is what this is looking like now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out all my chicken, I'm gonna put it in my KitchenAid mixer to shred it up, and then I'm gonna put it back in with um, this can of pinto beans. I'm gonna rinse and, drain and rinse these. And then I'm just gonna let it set on low for maybe like another hour, and then I'll just turn it to the warm setting. I'm also gonna put this corn in here. This is frozen. I'm just gonna throw it in frozen and let it cook down for an hour.
All right, so it's dinner time. I really, really enjoy sour cream on my like fajitas and tacos and whatnot, but I was just trying to cut down on the points a little bit. I use light sour cream, so for one tablespoon, it's one smart point. So I mixed one part light sour cream with two parts plain non-fat Greek yogurt in here just to cut down on the points. So I get three tablespoons for just one point. And then I just have some lettuce chopped up. So I'm gonna get this all assembled and I will show you the final points. Hello, um, happy Sunday. I am um, getting ready to start dinner and tonight we are gonna have um, tostadas. I have tostada shells left over from when I did the Crunchwrap Supremes. So I am gonna use ground turkey. I picked this up from Aldi. It's 99% fat free. I am going to use my favorite, the fat free refried beans from Aldi. And then I just have this chicken taco seasoning. It's it's like half of a packet, so I'll just use that for the whole pound of ground turkey. And then I have these ole um, tostada shells. And then I'll like chop up some lettuce and we'll have salsa. And then I'm just gonna do corn for a side dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Okay, so I just toasted these up in my toaster oven. I baked them at 425 for about five minutes. So they're nice and toasty and warm. I've got my refried beans, my turkey's done, and then I'm gonna top it with the fat-free great value cheese. Um, this no sugar added um, salsa, mild, and um, just, instead of sour cream, I'm just going to use the uh, plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm kind of low on points tonight, so I'm not going to have sour cream. I'm just going to have yogurt, and then I have lettuce. I um, had planned to do the skillet pickle chicken from my grocery haul and I didn't pull the chicken out of the freezer in enough time to marinate it. So I'm just throwing this meal together really quick with stuff that I had in my pantry and fridge. I'm just clean, getting dinner cleaned up right now. My husband has the kids up in the bath and I'm just kind of cleaning up dinner slash packing his lunch for tomorrow to take into his office. Um, but I just wanted to say that um, I went to my meeting yesterday, today is Sunday. I went to my meeting yesterday and I hit goal. So I made it down to 160. So I'm officially on maintenance. So my um, weight range from here until the end of six weeks is anywhere from 158 to 162 pounds. Um, something that I wasn't aware of, it must have been something that just recently changed. Um, was that I um, only have to weigh in twice in that six week period. I had no idea. The only stipulation is that the second weigh in has to be at six weeks, obviously, so they can make sure I, I am where I need to be at the end of the six weeks. So yeah, super exciting. I got my gold charm and um, they had three different colors for me to pick from. They had a black one, a yellow gold one, and a rose gold one. I chose the rose gold one. I posted it about, about it on my Instagram, which is another thing that I wanted to talk about while I was on here cleaning up dinner, was that I am trying to be more active on my mom logs Instagram page. I'll put the handle down here for you so that you know where to find me. I'm trying to stay active on stories and then like just posting here and there on my grid. And 
yeah, so look for me on there. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner finished up and I will see you tomorrow for um, skinny-ish dishes, skillet, pickle, chicken. So tonight for dinner, we had um, the skinny-ish dish, skillet, pickle, chicken. For one five ounce serving, it's two smart points on blue. It was delicious. I marinated the chicken as the recipe calls for. Um, I started it I started marinating it at nine o'clock this morning and then we ate dinner at about 5.30. I started cooking at about five. I would say if you make one recipe from this video, make it the skinniest dish, skillet pickle chicken, because it's absolutely phenomenal. We all ate it and everyone cleaned their plates, including my two and four year old. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put all of the recipes day by day in the description box below. If they're not mine originally, I'll have them linked. And if they are mine, I will have them typed out down below. Again, um, I will put my Instagram handle here. I'm gonna try and be more active on there. And um, you can catch me between videos on Instagram. I do put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday at two o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I will catch you in my next one. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. I will see you next time. Bye.